There we go. There's another one. This one's a decent one. What is up ladies and gentlemen, fishermen of YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Get Em Outdoors YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I like to throw in order to catch big smallmouth bass. So I'm actually at a local spillway right now. Spillway right now. I'm gonna be loaded up on, on you know, loading up on crawfish and, and little tiny minnows and shiners and stuff like that, and this is gonna be a perfect representation. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I rig this up, what I use in terms of gear in order to catch these fish, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna target them, and hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish for you guys. Remember, if you guys do enjoy my videos, Make sure to leave this video a like to let me know that you like seeing smallmouth fishing content and also challenges with certain baits. Um, it also helps the algorithm push my more of my content out to you. And it also allows the YouTube algorithm to send you more videos um, from my previous times out on the water as well. So make sure to leave this video a like just for that. Make sure to leave a comment down below with any suggestions of videos that you guys want to see in the near future. And, and maybe it'll get featured into a future video or put into a future video. And then also go down there, hit the subscribe button, and turn the post bell notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post to on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get to the water. Let's catch some fish. Let's go. See if we can get on one here. That'd be great. Three point five inch coffee tube and a quarter ounce tube hook. So hopefully we should be able to get on a couple here, hopefully. Basically, I like to do it in a popping motion, kind of resembles a fleeing little, a fleeing crawfish, so. And then I normally just hop it right off the rocks, and normally, without a doubt, they'll hammer it, so. That's normally the go-to. Alrighty, guys, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to catch smallmouth bass on a lipless crankbait. Pretty simple. And this is actually a bigger lipless crankbait and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get a couple of fish on it right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So normally what you're gonna wanna do is just cast it out. I need to actually stop and turn the brakes. I don't know why I have them all the way set. And normally what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cast it out and then just retrieve it, just like so, just like this. So it's gonna go in the water, I'll show you. It's gonna go right in the water, and then it's gonna go like that. And they're gonna end up eating it. So hopefully we should be able to get on some here. Alrighty guys, look at that. Beautiful freshwater smallmouth from the spillway and basically what I was doing with these and how you have to approach this is you just have to cast it out in every single direction I like to do a rainbow pattern so I'll cast in one direction reel it in cast in another about two feet from that way and just kind of go in a rainbow pattern back and forth and I had one hit it and I didn't know exactly what it was but I knew that I missed it and I casted it out a little bit further and this guy ended up smoking it so we're gonna go ahead and get a picture on him and then we'll release him back good stuff first fish of the day let's get it There we go. All 
All right. Second one right there. Came up and hammered it. Little guy, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well guys, if you can see that, let me turn this on real quick. Well guys, if you can see that right there, that is our second fish right there. Nice little bronze back. Hit the uh, lipless crankbait again. Like I said, you just have to cast it right out there and sometimes they will just end up smoking the thing. Because what it'll do is it'll actually rattle and it'll annoy the heck out of them to the point where they're just gonna come up and hammer it. It gives them that vibration that they're actually looking for in the water. So amazing little fish, awesome, cool little stuff. So we're gonna get a small picture and then we'll release them back. But that's our second one today. Not terrible, not terrible for what we're doing right now. It's a little bit colder than I would like, but we're still out making it happen right now. There's a couple of them that are hungry, so let's go. Alrighty, buddy, we'll release you back. See you later. Thank you. Bye. All right. All right, guys, well, that's our second fish of the day, so hopefully we'll be able to get on maybe one more before it gets really dark. I mean, as you guys can see right there, sun is setting, so we probably got about, like, you no, know, maybe 30 minutes left of daylight, but hopefully we'll be able to get another one on for you guys, but that lipless crankbait smokes them, especially when you're fishing rivers and canals and stuff like that. It's always good to use a vibrating bait and a and basically power fish it in a moderate action and they just come up sometimes and hammer it so that's what you have to do so that's basically the tip that I have for you guys is kind of moderately reel it in instead of just you know reeling it in consistently like very very fast or very very slow you want to keep it at a certain pace where those rattles in that crankbait are gonna rattle consistently and then they're gonna end up coming up and hammering it every single time nine times out of ten it works right here this deep steep bank that kind of flows in through and then it gets a little bit shallow that's where they're going to be sitting that's where the bait's going to be so that's why we were able to catch that fish there and hopefully we should smoke another one it's actually a deeper flat in there that kind of go, goes down into the water column so that's why we were able to smoke you know that's why that fish was able to come and get it so that's what you want. And they'll sit right in these little deep areas right here where all this bait normally is right here. And they'll come up and hammer it. So that's basically what we're looking at right now. See how moderate speed, moderate speed is the key. There we go. There's another one. This one's a decent one. He's decent. Oh, it's a rock bass. <laughs> Look at how big that rock bass is, guys. Holy shit. That's a big ass rock bass. Stay there. Guys. Look at that freaking rock bass. That rock bass is freaking huge. He's gotta be at least a half a pound. I made him weigh him just for that. Oh. Well guys, the lipless crankbait catches everything, especially in the river. Look at how big that rock bass is. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Like, look at the colors on him. Look at the colors on that dude. Awesome, awesome, awesome fish. He's probably about a half a pound. I made him weigh him. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna weigh this guy. All right, remember if you guys do wanna purchase anything from iBobber, make sure to use code GETEM15, saves you 15% off at realsonar.com. We're gonna see how, how big this little rock bass weighs, just because I'm curious. So we'll see. Yep. Right there, 0 0.015. So that is a half pound freaking rock bass. Half pound rock bass, pretty freaking sweet. Wasn't expecting it, but hey, the big lipless crankbait catches everything. So, beautiful fish. Alrighty, Mr. Half Pounder, we will see you later. Thank you. See you later. Thanks. Go ahead. Catch your breath. There you go. There you go. See you later. There he goes. <laughs> Alright. That's our third fish. So, I mean, like I said, guys. Lipless crankbait gets it done every single freaking time.
for some reason, it just catches fish. It catches everything. It catches walleyes, catches rock bass, catches smallmouth, as you guys can see already. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Like this gold amber color slays them. So yeah, good stuff. Alrighty guys, and that is good for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of you that tune in and watch my fishing content. Today, not too bad for a very short little uh, couple of stints after work. So about a couple hours, maybe three hours worth of fishing. And we actually ended up catching two decent sized smallmouth bass on the Lipless crankbait on the uh, Six Sense Quick 80. And then also we caught that half pound, um, the half pound rock bass, which blew my mind i didn't expect him to hit that but the lipless crankbait will catch anything in the wood in the river so you know it is to be expected um but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave this video a like that lets me that you like seeing fishing videos just like this it will also recommend you more of my content in the near future and some previous content as well it will recommend it to you and then it will also help push my content out to more people and share my videos also, make sure to comment down below a video idea that you guys want to see in the near future or just even just comment how and how you how you thought the video panned out or what you liked about it. And then also go down there, hit the subscribe button, turn the post bell notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so every subscriber will help towards that goal. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all on the next fishing adventure. Go out, go get them.